Tyler Grant here at Grant Tech Training with Thorgold Defense Group. Today this video is going to be on concealed carry courses. And the number one question I have to ask you is, are you ready to carry by simply just taking a concealed carry course? And before you answer, I want you to think of all these questions, these follow-up questions I have for you and see what your answers are. And it needs to be good legitimate answers other than, I'll be fine. Think about how you shoot. Do you practice defensive shooting? Do you practice pr uh, target shooting? Do you really know the difference between the two? Do you know how to clear the mal a malfunction out of your gun? Is your, do you think your gun is reliable or is it reliable? How much have you shot the gun? Can you, uh, do you shoot the gun regularly? If not, does it, is it because your gun sucks to shoot? Why did you pick that gun? Why did you pick that caliber? Have you done any modifications to the gun? If so, why? And do you have and have you gotten any formal training that isn't just the state mandated requirement training for you to carry legally? All right. From what I see, generally, you're not ready to carry. This doesn't mean you shouldn't. This doesn't mean you shouldn't go get go get the, your uh, your license to do so. From what I'm seeing from talking to people, seeing people out on the range shooting, they're simply not ready. Many people don't know the difference between defensive shooting and target shooting. They think, well, I'll, I'm just, I'm shooting. I'm, I'm shooting. And what's the difference? I go, well, one, you're trying to get a tighter group on a bullseye target, which has nothing to do with defensive shooting. And I, after I explain to them, what would you rather do? Put more shots here to stop the bad guy fast or put more shots here and stop the, stop the bad guy more slowly. Many people don't own a holster for their gun when they have a concealed carry license. They put, they put, they put a gun in their pocket, inside their waistband, a bunch of crazy things. Um, a lot of people don't shoot their guns because they suck to shoot. Uh, for example, a, a Taurus 380. Don't recommend Taurus whatsoever or a 380. But once you put everything in that small package, they're horrible to shoot. Also, they can't they can't hit their target. If they do, it is a um, a a normal silhouette with the rings in it, the B22, uh, and they're hitting all of it with in a reasonable range. So. And if you know this FBI statistical studies that they've done, your, your shot group, or your pattern goes 50% larger. If you're shooting a group this big, you'd be shooting a group this big. All right. Too many people think they have to have a very small gun so they can seal it. I talked to a guy the other day saying he wants a little 380. I go, well, I'm carrying a Glock 19 on my person. He looked at my waistline and goes, where? I go, exactly. You can carry a normal size gun on your person without any issues or without uh, without feeling there's a, a machine gun on you. Uh, too many people uh, have the mentality on for their wives, girlfriends, or whomever that a little little woman needs a little gun. That's not the case. Um, again, the, uh, the person out here on the range, she was shooting a Taurus 380, and I had her shoot my Glock, and she was and she instantly was hitting her target and uh, instantly loved the feeling of the Glock versus the Taurus 380. She said it was a birthday present. I said, sell it. If it's not worth it, if you can't shoot it, it's not worth the have. And if you lose money on it, oh well, how much, how much is your life worth? Concealed carry courses are not firearm training courses. They only teach you the law, the minimum requirement uh, of firearm safety and also just the laws that you have to know to legally carry or excuse me, not to, to know, but to obey. Generally, you only shoot between five and 10 rounds at a piece of paper or a miniature silhouette type target on a regular eight and a, eight and a half by 10 piece of paper just to show that you didn't shoot yourself or you didn't shoot someone else so they can sign off on it and just send your paperwork to the state. Uh, I mean, that's about it. That Again, that doesn't mean you shouldn't get your, your license. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you shouldn't carry but you need to realize the disadvantage that you're putting yourself at. If you're putting your gun on your person, 
you have a feeling that one day that you might get in a fight. But think of this. You wouldn't go to you wouldn't go to a sports store, buy a pair of boxing gloves, then jump in the ring, would you? It's the same concept. You have to train. You have to train so you'll know how to practice. So again, get yourself trained. Um, get yourself by, trained by a competent instructor. Uh, the, the instructors I recommend is any of the combat focused shooting instructors. Check the website to see if they if one's around you. If you can't train with me, but if you can't make it to a combat focused shooting uh, instructor, uh, the only other place I do recommend is Tactical Response Fighting Pistol class. Um, great course. I'm friends with James Jagger, um, all the instructors out there, top notch guys. They're, put, they're all putting out good information, and the lecture alone is well worth the money. So that's all I got for concealed carry courses. I'm Tyler Grant with Grant Tech Training with Thor Global Defense Group. Stay safe.